now we discuss the basic logic gates using ladder logic the first one is end logic we already know what is end logic for example the end logic have two inputs x0 and x1 and the output is y0 the output y0 will be activated when the both inputs are active or the both inputs are on if you see my input x0 x1 are 0 0 and y0 also 0 when the input x0 is 0 and the input x1 is 1, output is again y0 is 0. Again one of the input x0 is 1, in another input x1 is also 0 and the output y0 is 0. When my input x0 is 1 and input x1 is also 1, then only the output y0 becomes 1. That means the end will be performed like a serial connection. If there are two switches in serial and one output lamp is connected with this power source in serial to the switches, the output lamp will be turned on whenever the both inputs or both switches are turned on. The same thing is represented in timing diagram. This is the timing diagram. You can see the output Y0 is on when my input X0 is in on state and input X1 is also in on state. If both are in on, both inputs are on then only output is on if both of the inputs or any one of the input is off then output is off the same thing is represented in timing diagram we can discuss the same logic in ladder logic so go to our software for this session i'm going to use b section and uh, first section b1 go to click on this minimize this one so now we have to enter a end logic to test our one of the output so now plc in run mode so click edit ladder so take one input and work contact say i am going to take x24 click ok again and click input instruction open contact again enter second switch x25 i am using two selector switches x24 and x25 switch 1 and switch 2 in the logic and I want to connect one of the lamp I am going to use the lamp from the simulation instead of operation panel so I am going to use Y0 operating lamp click coil as I want to use operating lamp I have to enter Y0 Y0 you can use the inputs and outputs from simulation or from operation panel. Click OK. So my logic is completed. Click Convert. Now the compiling is successfully completed. Now we have to write to PLC. Click Write to PLC. So the program is downloaded to PLC. Click OK. Now the PLC is in run mode. So we can do the simulation. We already discussed the output will be turned on when both the inputs are turned on. Otherwise, if both inputs are off or any one of the input is off, the output is off. So we will test one by one. My in one of the input is activated. X24. See, blue color. It shows blue color means on. So one input is 1. Second input is 0. 1, 0. Output is 0. Again, I am making this input is off. Second input is on. So first input is 0. First, second input is 1 output is 0 again if my both inputs are already off output is also off if both inputs are on then only the output is on see operating lamp is glowing turned on if both inputs are on then only output is on if one of the input or both of the inputs are off then output is off we can also see the status of inputs and output from the io table up to x27 and y27 in end logic, there may be any number of inputs. It may be two inputs, three inputs, four inputs like that, any inputs. The output will be turned on when all the inputs are turned on. If all the inputs or any of the input is off, the output is off. So this is our logic, end logic. I'll meet you in the next session.